and it was about to my shoulder mm -hmm. and it was in a white dress and it had big black eyes. A lot of them that work in this house around Halloween will say they keep hearing things in the closets. I mean, it was strange and I don't know what it was. We've been upstairs on the second floor in the children's room and had some crazy activity of some disembodied voices as well as some just weird phantom sounds that we couldn't really tell what they were. The land was settled in the mid-1700s by Francis King Cannon, and uh, he built a fort here. Um, it was a fort during the Revolutionary War and the French and Indian War. When he died, the succession of the land went from uh, his son and brother to the Robinsons, and then from them, uh, part of those tracks came down to Nickerson Snead in 1835. Uh, there's a tulip room log cabin that still sits inside this house. For some reason, Dr. Sneed decided not to tear them down, but to build around it. After King Cannon's death, uh, Nickerson Sneed and Betsy Sneed um, purchased the property in the cabin, built this house around it, 1835. Betsy and Nickerson, um, he died before she did, I think in the late 1860s, and she was in the 1880s. After they had died, the land set in es or the property set in escrow for a year or two, I think, and then it was uh, purchased by the Mason family, William B. Mason, and um, they lived here from the late 1880s t until the late 1980s. In this room, we were on a, on that dresser, which was here. We were looking that way, and um, my daughter, she is sensitive psychic um she was seeing something in that room and um she described it as a small just kind of short but it was kind of squatting so she couldn't really tell how tall it was dark figure and um i wanted to see what she was seeing so badly <laughs> i was so jealous of i'm sitting there and they got me on EVP yelling because I saw the hand creep around the corner and I screamed and she said, you saw it, didn't you? And I said, yeah, what is that? And she said, I don't know, but I've been watching it for a while. And she said, um, she was getting that it couldn't cross the thresholds. I got kind of sick. I don't know if it was where I got really frightened, but I went downstairs. They finished investigating. We were here one night. My husband and I were sleeping in Betsy's room. And um, I woke up to the sound, it sounded like in the back hallway close to that last door where our props are stored. Um, like somebody had a... And just real quick, you were telling us some stories earlier that there was uh, a lot of Indian activity in the area. Mm -hmm. There was. Um, route 11, right in front of the house here, was a uh, trade route for the Indians, the Native Americans, to be politically correct. They um, would go down into the town of Glade in the fall and they would have a huge fall festival where several tribes would meet, barter and trade, celebrate, have festivities. So um, there was a lot of activity through here for the Native Americans. And um, there's also been some tragedy in front of the house here. There's been a couple of, there's been a car accident that's taken lives. There was um, a shooting, um, a suicide, a homicide, suicide. And then there was most recently a, a biker who had been hit right out here and mm -hmm. killed. So there's been a lot of fatalities on the road right here from the house. Um, a little bit about the house physically is it is on a limestone foundation. There is a spring house at the foot of the hill here where you pull up in the driveway. Mm -hmm. So there's obviously water somewhere. There is the crossroads. Mm -hmm. The Masons and the Sneeds, and I think the Kin Cannons maybe, are all buried in the graveyard across, just across the street there. Um, and most recently, when I was 
doing research for my book about the house, discovered that there are ley lines between the house and the interstate. So lately, I have heard that there has been an alarming rise in paranormal activity, especially face-to-face -face encounters at the Nickerson Sneed House in Glade Springs, Virginia. Now, we investigated the Nickerson Sneed House for our very first investigation episode back in 2018. So it's, it's been a little while since we've been there, but I have remained in close contact with the owners who are some of the coolest people I have ever worked with in the paranormal field. So I was surprised when they informed me that a lot of people are having some very startling encounters and there's even been a few groups that have encountered something that's a little less than human, let's just say that. So after hearing all these stories and then going back through my research and evidence that we've recorded there, I decided it's time to go back to the Nickerson Steed House in Glade Springs. So I've spent the last few days doing some research just to bone up on uh, the paranormal stuff as well as the historical information on the land and the property as well as the house. Got my equipment together, made a few uh, gas station runs for some batteries because gas stations always have the best batteries, my personal opinion. And I guess it's time to head down to uh, the Nickerson Sneed House. Now, unfortunately, Chris won't be joining me on this investigation, but I do have a friend of mine who's going to be joining me, and I'm curious to see what they think of the house. It'll be their fir very first visit there, and, well, hopefully it'll be active. But I'm not going to be heading to the Nickerson Sneed House alone. I'm actually going to be meeting up with Miranda from Ghost Biker Exploration. Every town has a ghost story that's been passed down throughout the generations. But what if those legends are true? My job is to travel to these destinations, explore them, and figure out the mystery that lies within. So I've been following her work for a few years now, and I've been on her uh, podcast show a few times, and she is one of the most intelligent people I have ever met and worked with in the paranormal field. So she's going to be perfect for helping me out on this investigation. And with that being said, let's head to the Nickerson Sneed House. I see a black shadow figure out of the corner of my eye, and I look up, and it walks right into that room. So I'm here at the Nickerson Sneed House in Glade Springs, Virginia. I am the only person inside the house right now. I've already heard a few voices and footsteps. Not really anything else going on. This is my first visit back here since 2018 when we shot our investigation episode here. And hopefully it'll be as active this time or even more so active than it was previously. So we are beginning our walkthrough of the Nickerson Sneed house. We've already had a few strange things happen. Mm -hmm. Is this on full blast? Crap. I don't think so either. In all cases. 
I guess it's a part of human nature to naturally fear places that you're not often in. Yeah. I do want to highlight logs. Not something we typically highlight, but yeah. Yeah. Potentially from the 1740s. That's that's wild. I mean, you can see how old it is right here if you look right here. Yeah. I mean. I mean, it's it's rotted completely yeah. in a lot of areas. Which only means that this room is a somewhat of a ticking time bomb. Yeah. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm in an episode of Looney Tunes? Yeah. And the coyote's gonna jump out. I think right here would be good. That way if anything walks through the rooms. Mm-hmm. Cause that gets some that gets the whole door into the hallway even. Yeah. I like that. And it gets back into here. That's really nice. Yes. Oh, yeah. And those are our first batteries, right? Mm-hmm. Look at that. It's showing full now. It was off. It was off. But I said in here, I left the recorder on because I said this was his office. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Miranda and Jake in Dr. Uh, Nickerson Sneed's office. Um, this recorder was turned on probably, what, an hour ago? Mm -hmm. Hour and a half ago, and we come up here and it's turned off. So we have it back on, the battery is full. That's weird. Because we should have it on camera where we turned it on. Yep. I just wanted to go on record saying my equipment has not suffered major battery drain aside from two recorders and my phone earlier. Huh. Battery's dead. Everything of That's mine. That's insane. Everything of mine has got a dead battery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is. And that was fully charged. I'll have to bring another one when I come back. Actually, I know where one is. Oh, the flashlight's on down there. Yeah? Can you turn that flashlight off, please? Thank you. That was cool. That was cool. Can you turn it back on for us, please? What if I said pretty, please? You don't have to be afraid. We know you're down there. Can you turn that flashlight on for us? I feel something behind us. I do too. I've got major cold chills right now. So that actually is something that we've had happen is they'll get your attention one way and they'll do something behind you. If anyone else is up here, can they please make a sound to let us know where they are? Ah yes, the Phantom Tractor Trailers. Mm-hmm. So while Miranda's doing that, I'm gonna walk through here. What? Didn't you literally just check it? Let's see if the, how the battery is because I literally I started it full battery. Can you point that to the six camera? Six seconds. It recorded for six seconds. And when did you originally start that? Like an hour ago. Here, hit play. See what stopped it. Good point. Uh, October tw uh, twenty. Yeah. Huh? Soul Sisters? I don't remember you saying that. I didn't that. say Soul I Sisters. I don't remember you saying that.
Flash flash on. October 24th. Yeah, this didn't record. But you, it was on. I remember you. This is weird. I remember you hitting plot, hitting record, doing the introduction for it. Flashlight just turned off. Did you turn our flashlight off? I mean, no. Did you turn our recorder off? If you were playing with the recorder, can you turn that flashlight on? Were you drawing this energy? This is really weird. I've had weird technical difficulties all night. Okay, so this recorder again. This is in, um, what room did we say this was? This is, oh, this, this is, is the, the old room. drape room. He called it yeah. the exorcist room, but it's yes, the old drape. because I even said that on there. This is the exorcist room. Yeah. Exorcist room, recorder, take two. We're getting all of this activity. We haven't even brought out the equipment. Now, now that recorder is still on. The red line is still on. Yeah. I'm just going to say this. There is a little bit of apprehension going into the kids' room because it's really creepy. I can, I can see that. All right, hello. It's me, Jake. It's been a while. Actually, technically not. We were in here a few minutes ago. I feel like you're going to throw the recorder if it's not on. <laughs> Where was the recorder? You know what? Was maybe in here we didn't have a recorder? I thought you set one up everywhere. I thought I did. There was one that didn't have batteries. Actually, you might not have because we were fooling with that. If there's anyone in this room with us, can they please close that door? Recorder in the kids' room, Miranda and Jake. Sometime before 10 o'clock, Nickerson's need house. Make sure that's recording. I don't know if that's recording. If there's anyone in this room with us, can you please make a sound? I feel like I'm going to look at one of these dolls like out of the corner of my eye and one will be gone. <laughs> Are these your toys? Is, is this your doll? I thought you were asking me. <laughs> I'm wondering if this is dead. Just gonna test it. See, see what I did? I came up and I turned that on. Just like that. You know what? Randall, was that you? That was not me. 
Okay, it sounded like something sat on that bed. It did, didn't it? This is dead too. Whoever just sat on the bed, can you make that noise again, please? I mean, it literally sounded like someone sat down. On that bed? Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't me because I was over there. <sighs> All right, well, we're going to come back in here in a few minutes. But you can turn the flashlight on. Just go up and touch it. You can move across the room here. I don't know if I introduced myself. I'm Miranda. And this is my friend Jake. Rhonda was telling us that there's something that likes to hide under the bed. Who is that person? Is that one of the children? Or is that something else? I feel cold air coming in. Mm hmm I do too. Honestly, the most active place that I felt Mm -hmm. was in there in the doctor's office. Yeah. When that flashlight came on, it really <laughs> felt like, it felt like something, like, I don't even know. It felt like something bigger was going to happen? Yeah. Betsy Sneed, are, are you in your room? Betsy, you're, uh, the children here aren't being very talkative. Do you know why that is? I'm just moving. What is the loudest sound you can make right now? photos coming your way. Okay. Is there something? What? Is there like a reflection or? Okay, it's probably a reflection. I saw something kind of move, but. Please tell me you heard that. Mm-hmm. I heard a breath. I like, I heard. <gasps> That was down there. I knew it. I caught movement behind the tree. Yeah, it feels different in here. Is a doctor in? Did it really turn it off again? It is, it's still on. Okay. Is that flashlight on? The flashlight's not on, but I thought I heard a male whisper. Did it sound like it was in here? It sounded like it was like right back there. Here. I think what it is, and it's what it always does here, is it'll lead you to different places. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if next time that happens, if you're comfortable, if you're- the floor shake. Like, like heavy walking. Yeah. Now maybe there's something where I'm sitting on this low chair, but I'll sit here and I'll feel like a- You wanna switch? No, I'm okay. I mean, we can try it here in a minute. Switch yeah. and see if- But what I was thinking we could do is the next time we hear something, mm -hmm. 
that diverts our attention. One of us goes there, and then the other one stays. That sounds good to me. I want my gimbal to charge up. <laughs> So what room do you want us to go to next? You seem to like to play cat and mouse. Where are we going next? I just think this is very typical of a doctor's visit. You know, you sit in the office for like 20 minutes and they don't come in. I have to say, Dr. Nickerson, we're your only patients and you haven't visited us once or made a noise or done anything. And we're going to take our business elsewhere. I heard there's a guy down the road. He's pretty good. I smell like a cologne. I was about to say, I do too. And I, I thought I felt something come in the room. Like through that door, I felt an energy. It smells like a very male's cologne. Are you wearing a nice smelling cologne? I gotta say, you smell very good, doctor. A recorder would be. Oh, and that would have been right next to it, so. Mm -hmm. What are you here for, ma'am? Are you sick? Does it sound like boots or shoes? Shoes. Because it's just kind of... Hello, who's out there? Can you come in here? My name's Jake and this is Miranda. What's your name? I just got a whiff of cold air. Just like went by me. Fancy skeleton. Whoa, okay. Flashlight? No, I heard what sounded like an old dress when it swooshes by a bed. I heard someone go by the bed. What we heard was like a an old crinoline dress just yeah. swishing through. I know that sound. Yeah, I literally heard like a dress brush up against. It went <laughs> I know what that sound is. Maybe we got movement. Let's make sure this is still going. Yep, red light's still on. Hopefully we got something on the lights. I got a weird head brush when I went in there. This room, for some reason, and it could be the bland Motif. walls, but I don't know. I've got some real bad cold chills mm -hmm. right now. They're not as bad as they feel, but. I mean, I feel really cold and I keep getting like quick rushes. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Spirits of the Nickerson Sneed House, Rhonda was telling us that you all got pretty upset or active when they used the Ouija board. So I'm gonna leave this here now I'm going to have it centered, that's not centered, but it's close enough, right here. And if you want to move the planchette or move the board, feel free to. Or if you don't like the Ouija board like we do, then you can throw.
throw it across the room. Just don't throw it at us, is all we ask. Yep, feel free to move it. I'm actually going to sit this mm -hmm. right here so that we can see, make sure it doesn't move. That's a good idea. Or we'll know if it moves. Because those pins, would something would be moved. Right. If that moves. So we're going to sit this. We're in the seance room. We're going to sit this Ouija board right here and kind of test and see if anything happens. We did not do a seance, but we're going to see if uh, the planchette or if the board actually gets moved on its own any time during this. The problem is, is I don't know where I'm running to. Okay, real quick, Miranda, what just happened? I, I don't know. We heard a screech, or we heard a couple female moans. We heard a screech, and I don't know if it was a door. It sounded human. It sounded, yeah. It sounded like it came from down here. Yeah. It was really loud with these headphones on. Yeah, I mean, that's good. That's not what we heard. I mean, it sounded, to me, it almost sounded like a screen door. I mean, I, I couldn't tell if it, because it did sound like a door. Or something with the headphones on. Yeah, I mean, it also sounded human. First, let's also see that it's not, you know, someone that snuck in for some reason. Which, I mean, there are, there are bells on all the doors, so. If someone had snuck in, we would have heard. If there's anyone here with us, can you please make a sound? Are you upstairs or downstairs? Are you Native American? It's almost ominous how quiet it is all of a sudden. Yeah. Are you ramping up, saving your energy for something big? You all were making a lot of noise earlier. I thought we were going to have an active night. What happened? What was that? I saw a flash of light. It could have been a car going by, but. All right, so this will be our first spirit box session of the night. So far it's been really, really active. This will probably be just as active. All right, hello. Is there anyone here with us tonight? Well, knock on wood, we're not really getting any radio interference. Yeah. This is... Yeah. That's the second voice. That sounds like a deeper male. Yeah. Sorry. I am too. Who's in the room with us? Holy shit. You saw that? No. Those three dots right there just blacked out. They, something. They blacked out right there too. Something walked behind us through there and then through there. Because I didn't see that. I saw that. that I mean, that was ghost. ghost? You just said ghost. You said ghost. I'm getting really uneasy right now. Is this still going? What, the voice recorder? 
Yeah, I've got all my stuff still on. Who's in here with us? See it? Do you see? I heard it. Do you see? It? I'm literally watching the dots move, and that's <laughs> that's a little girl. Boy. I'm gonna move and see if that might be me. My name's Jake and this is Miranda. What's your name? Cousin. It says, I thought it said cousin. I thought it either thought it said cousin or Kinsey. Is your name Kinsey? Yeah. yeah? That sounded like a deep nail voice. Well, that was a weird like I didn't like that. Can you tell us what the name of your skeleton is? Dude, this is Tommy. He said Tommy. He said Tommy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> if you're using the board, go ahead and move the planchette. I might. I might. I might. Okay, we're waiting. Can you say my name? Clementine. <laughs> Did he say Clementine? I don't know, it, it sounded like it, it sounded like it said Andrew. Who's Clementine and Andrew? <laughs> You know, speaking of owning the house, where's Francis King Cannon at? You would think the guy who risked his life to build this house, that he'd be hanging around. Where's Francis? Did it say Cannon and Steve Clementine? I don't know. It sounded very like Clementine. Did he say just saw him? Just saw him. Where did you see him at? I don't like that man. I don't either. So can you please identify your... Did it say Jake. shut up? They even said that or Jake. Yeah, I'm Jake. I'm not sure which is it. And then some kind of... Kid. Put your hand on the table. Does it feel like it's pulsating? Mm -hmm. Tables don't pulsate. Tables don't pulsate. Who's pulsating the table? Guys long. The guys long or the guys wrong? I don't know. That was a woman. I heard something walking. Like heavy. Can you do that again? Uh-oh. <laughs> it's awake. Oh, we've done it now. So yeah, this was a great idea going on investigation with me, wasn't it, Miranda? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Who did we just hear upstairs? That actually sounded like it was in the doctor's office. Yeah, I, I hope we caught it on those cameras. I hope it stays upstairs. Yeah. Whoa. Did you see that? You didn't do that. I didn't do that. I mean, I'm... Whoa. It's alive. It, I heard it's alive. I felt 
a puff. I mean, I heard a voice say it's a lot. <laughs> Confession? Well, we said perfume. Who do you like more? Uh, they're coming. They're coming? Those Who's are some sketchy voices. They're me almost metallic. <laughs> Who's coming? Who's coming? I swear, I feel like... Did this thing get out? Did something bad, too. There's a woman. <laughs> this makes me uneasy. Yeah. I don't like this. Are you trying to scare us? Oh my gosh, my recorder's off. <laughs> Who's turning off our equipment? That's weird, because I look. And also think about it, that's on your shoulder. So in order for it to turn it off. I wonder if it went off after that. Yeah, maybe that gush you felt was its hand. Maybe. Why do you stay here? <laughs> My kids? Betsy, is that you? <coughs> that gave me major cold chills. Yeah. Do you love your kids? Are they here with us? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Can we talk to them? Doing that to the flame. There's no. There's no drafts. If there was a draft, it would be somewhat consistent. Yeah. Can you take that flame and lay that flame down? <laughs> Can you lay that flame down? <laughs> what would happen if we went to the kids' room right now? Did he say he's dead? He said something's dead. I told you this place would go zero to a thousand real quick. Yeah. I've got shields. Who's in the kids' room? And why did you say he's dead? I just love how this is slowly ramping up. And we're just sitting here. Especially the fact that I was like, you can't threaten us. Did it say test me? Did it literally just say test me? No. We might need to step outside for a second. Yeah. You can't threaten us. You know that, right? I saw a flash. Where at? It was up against that door. I'm... <laughs> It said get out. Did it you hear that? Out. It said get out. And it was like... <laughs> what are we in a horror movie? Did it say yeah, huh? <laughs> I don't like how it's manipulating the camera. I've got... I've got really bad culture. I do too. Let's see. I'm, I would lose my mind if that candle just blew out. She's like... <laughs> I wish it would. I wish you would just blow this candle out. I don't although, think they can. Although, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of afraid it's going to look light. Light? Light? I'm, I'm afraid it's going to like blow it toward me. <laughs> and like catch me on fire. Jack and roll, jack and roll. <laughs> yeah. No, it just... The energy just feels weird. I mean, it's... it's a, there's a negative touch. Yeah. Um, Did it say I'm okay or I'm out there? I thought it said I'm okay. Why would you not be okay? 
My battery just went from three bars to one bar. Oh, really? He's draining my battery. I don't like my equipment being messed with, so tell me. What is it? Who's doing that? What's the loudest sound you can make right now? Hi. Hi. Hi? That was loud. It's <laughs> <laughs> very loud. It's like, hi. <laughs> Well, I'm going to put the Ouija board up, whether you like it or not. It's a very boring game anyway. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. Did you hear it say it is and it's bending? Look at this. I'm sorry, I'm putting it up. You weren't going to move the planchette. Uh, it's bending it back this way. <laughs> Now, if there was some type of, look at that, if there was some kind of draft coming through and it was going that way. Look at that, it's going to come I don't have a good feeling. So the Ouija board's gone. It feels a lot better in here now that it's gone, wouldn't you agree? I don't know what it said, but I didn't like that. So we're going to go ahead and leave one more time. Do you have anything you want to say? <laughs> this is you? I think so. All right. Goodbye. Wow. End spirit box session. Yeah. Woo. That was a weird session. Okay. Maybe it was a mistake to bring out the spirit box. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, I, <clears throat> I'm a firm believer that it's intention, and I don't like to get negative with stuff. I don't either. But I will call a spade a spade. Yeah, and that, that was, there was some negative undertones there. I don't want to go upstairs. There's something up there. I think we wait a little bit before we go upstairs. It might not be a bad idea for us to go outside. Hmm. I need to plug this in a few minutes, or at least the phone again. So is it this almost is dead again? It's down to 36%. Holy crap. I don't, I don't get it. I mean, yeah, we filmed about 40 minutes, but... But that shouldn't take it down that much. Yeah. I mean, I can't get anything to hold a charge. There we go. Hi, I'd like to meet you, Shrice. Oh my god! <laughs>